Hi, I'm Chris Fry, and I'm a partner here at Steidel and Steinberg. I handle, handle most of the business cases uh, at our office. I want to talk to you a little bit about a Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Uh, a Chapter 11 bankruptcy can be filed by uh, corporations and individuals. Uh, generally, uh, there's a business involved, uh, certainly if it's a corporation. Uh, putting the, the personal Chapter 11 stuff aside for a moment, uh, when a business uh, reorganizes under Chapter 11, the idea is to give it basically some breathing room uh, and to uh, allow it to uh, 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 operate for a while without having to uh, pay some, if not all, of the creditors that are knocking on the door. Uh, then you put a plan of reorganization together after you've uh, the business has gotten a little time to uh, to write, write the ship, so to speak, uh, and that plan uh, will call for the payment uh, of creditors over time. Now, a personal Chapter 11 uh, is filed by individuals who may have a business that's not incorporated, or it may be just an individual with, uh, for whatever reason, uh, a large amount of debt. There are some uh, good uh, reasons to file a Chapter 11, uh, in many cases over a Chapter 13. And that uh, includes uh, oftentimes, uh, again, that breathing room that you can't get in a Chapter 13 for a few months, whereas in a Chapter 13, payments start uh, immediately. Uh, also, in a Chapter 11, there's a little bit more flexibility to negotiate with the different creditors, taxing bodies, whoever the creditors may be, than there is in a Chapter 13. Uh, if you uh, think a Chapter 11 uh, may be something that you want to look into, uh, please feel free to give me a call.